What's going on everyone? It's Rich Lux. In today's video, we're going to be interviewing Eugenia Cooney. She opens up about so many things such as being 5150'd, ex-friends, a mobile crisis team that got sent to her house, and police officers as well. This interview is very long and it we touched on some very triggering things, so if you don't want to watch it, this is your warning. Drop a like and a comment because it helps the algorithm so, so, so much. Let's jump right into the drama. I don't really know why some of you guys are so demanding of me. Like, guys, like, the thing is, like, you guys don't understand, okay? Like, everyone just comes to my streams, like, what are we doing? Uh, let me put you on with you, you, you want to give me additional information? I want you to just take a take a look at this video that was posted just a few days ago. And I want okay, you to tell me your honest opinion of if you think this is healthy. Her mother's saying her daughter is very, very skinny. Otherwise healthy, though. That's what she's telling me. And she also said that oftentimes, she's saying oftentimes rumors are spread about her daughter due to her, um very very skinny stature and then she's saying that she's been she's uh, had people swatting her house you know swatting us a social media personality has people worried about her health as well as her followers now take a look at this there are now renewed calls for youtuber eugenia cooney to be removed from youtube the fear is that her image could have a negative impact on the emotionally vulnerable out there. Cooney has been known for her skeletal frame since 2013. She took a break from social media, but she returned with new videos and photos looking smaller than ever. Ugh, I'm nervous because it's going to get hot. I know. Are you guys ready? Are they ready over there? Crazy interview. Ready. Hey guys, we got uh, Eugenia Cooney emotes in the chat. If you're subscribed, you can leave her little face in there. We have Jeffree Star. We have Paul Dow. I need a Paul emote. Like you have, you have a Paul emote too. Yeah, I just got one today. It's it's in there right now. Oh, that's so awesome. I need to add that. I got you. I got Jeffrey. I wish there was more room for them, but I'm like, we got, yeah, we got to leave them in the <laughs> Oh, sorry, Rich. I keep getting some of these like random. You get like those spam requests sometimes, or some people <laughs> just like they never stop. It's so crazy. But yeah, so okay. if you see me like, clicking, I'm so sorry. Yeah. <laughs> this is this is interesting because you know usually people they always they do interviews like off off the screen, or they'll they'll pre-record them, and so it's really fun. It's different to do a live interview so that people can see like everything. Just keep it real, like, yeah. Like, a live interview, I feel like it's kind of, like, it's it's totally different. And you're, like, I think one of the only people I've seen do it, so. I know. I'm like, I'm watch. I'm pioneering a live interview. It's crazy. Yeah, it I don't... kind of makes it a little intense because you also have, like, all the chat, like, you know, just, like, going crazy and <laughs> saying whatever they're saying. But, you know. <laughs> Okay, well, all right, well, I'm ready if you are, you guys. Okay, are right. you still letting them go crazy? Or are you still just kind of making it like free for all crazy? We'll do we'll do a free for all for the beginning because it's pretty pretty okay. mild. Sounds good. Yeah, whatever then, you want to do. Yeah, right? and I'll let you know before it gets wild, then we'll we'll switch awesome. over. Um, yeah, I'm just like hopefully I'm doing everything right. So, okay, cool. Well, I'm ready whenever you are. I'm excited. All right, so my all right, guys. Here we go. Three, two, one. What's going on, everyone? It's Rich Lux, and we have Eugenia Cooney here, and it's such a good pleasure to have her here because she doesn't do interviews that often. And so, you guys, keep it classy in the chat. Leave a thumbs up. Give her some love. And I just want to say thank you for your time, Eugenia, because it's priceless. So just thank you for being here. Thank you. I'm super happy to be here. And it's like if I'm going to do an interview with with anyone, like. You've always just been like such a sweet and awesome person. So it's like, I, the person I'd always want to do it with is you, Rich. So I'm happy to be here and like doing this. Yeah. Thank you for the sub cat. Thank you. We're going to be talking about in this interview, we're going to talk about Eugenia Cooney, how she got started, her relationship with her mom. We're going to be talking about um, ex-friends, 
Uh, we're going to talk about uh, Eugenia Cooney being, is it 5150? Is that the term? Yeah, that's the We're going to talk about like the trolls and you you being swatted to your house and so much more. So first, thing, I just want to start. Okay. So how did you get started on the whole Eugenia Cooney? Because to me, it's a brand. I think Eugenia Cooney is a brand. How did you get started? I think Rich is a brand. It's like the King Rich. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I think you might have been on there like way back in in the day have you ever heard of like you now yes i remember but see i thought for some reason i thought you were already on youtube first and then you now no i started youtube like after that you're skinny well thanks for saying i'm skinny brett black makes you look skinnier oh well, i guess i should wear black a lot then bria like i kind of like started like being on there like like way back and then i kind of found out about youtube and i thought it was cool that you could kind of like you know make videos about like whatever you're passionate about whether that's like makeup or just like making a vlog video or whatever and it seemed like a lot of fun and at the time um i was actually like homeschooling like like i was doing like online school because that's right because you did go to a normal high school and then you got like bullied and people were like just being mean to you and then you were like i'm just gonna do homeschool it was pretty bad honestly at the time to the point that i was like you know like my like my my parents like they're cool with it like i'm probably maybe yeah, like, better well, doing like online like, i relate to you because like with people like you jeffrey star shane Doss, like i reg i relate to them because i've always like beat to the beat of my own drum i've been called names like i've always been like that fat kid in school and all that stuff like that so like i relate to it that way when i see you and i see people leaving negative comments whatever they're saying i'm like if you leaving a neg negative comment is not going to do any good you know what i'm saying so it's like you calling somebody out is not going to do any good you know it's like yelling at somebody or sometimes so i'm just like stop so when i see you get so much negative walk that flame so i get it so I get why you got homeschooled. Oh my gosh, it's so true, Rich. And I feel the same way with like, you know, people like you and Jeffrey and Shane and like, you know, hearing like some of the things that like you guys have gone through, like I can definitely just like relate in a lot of ways. And um, and I hope you know, you don't ever deserve it. Like you're seriously like one of the sweetest people. And like it, it, it's kind of helped me like, and maybe you too, it just, it kind of helps you get thicker skin. Yeah, in a yeah. way, because I kind of feel like after like so much time, I guess you kind of just get like you get used to just kind of hearing like everything about yourself. So yeah. it's kind of like, you know, like, yeah, sometimes it's too bad. People are so like terrible, but yeah. you get so used to it that it's kind of just like, you know, what else can people really say about you? You know, so that's so that's how you got started it's on you now. And then yeah. you now is not even around anymore. I don't think it's. No, no, it is. It is a row. Just no one's really on it. Yeah, I think now it's just kind of like it. It kind of, I guess, went a little bit downhill and yeah. <laughs> like. But it, yeah. it, it really does. It really does mimic Instagram, but it, it more so gives me vibes of of, of TikTok. It kind of does. Like when I first started like going live here with kind of some of the gifts and things like that, I was like, oh my gosh, that reminds me of like you now days. Like yeah. that. Becky with the makeup box there. That's such a pretty gift. Thank you, Becky. Um, it's like it kind of does remind me of that because I remember back on you now, they would have like they'd have like the marriage thing with like the heart and it was kind of it's kind of similar. So it was just, it was similar, but I feel like you know, TikTok's better. <laughs> it's it won. It won hands down. Okay. Uh I just want to say next question would be is it hard to make friends? Um is it really hard to make friends or because you feel like people want to use you for clout or just it, in general it's hard for you oh sorry go ahead I didn't mean to no no me. I think that's it go I on. think because because they're I don't know because sometimes I feel like it is hard for me to make friends how do you feel about that I, I definitely can get that because you know like I guess like I always kind of want to like try to see the best in people and I never want to like you know just like assume people are bad but I guess like at the same time, I've kind of had a lot of experiences with people where like either like they turn against you for like no reason. Um, they, they switch up. I, I've like, listen, I've seen it happen. I I know what it feels like when that happens to you, when people switch up or they turn against you. Like, I, I get it, you know, but do you feel comfortable talking about Jacqueline Glenn? Yeah, it's fine. You know, I don't send any hate towards her or anything like that, yeah. but. So, so for, the, for the chat, for people who don't know, Jacqueline Glenn. 
is a friend or was a friend to Eugenia Cooney and they were, they were hanging out and she was going to meet some friends to go to an escape room. And when she got there, ja Jacqueline Glenn organized the 5150 hold on you. Our point in making that video was to explain that uh, Eugenia's mom is a dangerous person. She fought us on trying to get her help every single step of the way. We had to trick Eugenia into coming to my place so that we could help her. Her mom yelled at me, screamed at me, uh, tried to call the cops on me to have me arrested for kidnapping. Yeah, it was honestly like one of the scariest, well, probably like the worst and like scariest moment probably of my life. Um, it was like her and a group of like these other people that were kind of like friends uh, at the time. Um, and it's weird, you know, like, um, I can kind of, I don't want to like, you know, get too Well, no, far no, ahead. go ahead. But like, what is like, for the, because people are saying like, what is 5150? What would you, how do you um, define that? I like basically, you know, like when it was happening to me, um, I didn't even know it was a thing. Like I had no idea. I literally didn't even think that was like in the question that I was going to go over there and that they were going to do that. Like I literally just thought, okay, we're going to go to an escape room and, and that's it. And basically, I don't know if you call like social services or if it's like some kind of government people, yeah. like yeah. mental health people. I don't even know, but then I found out there's like these ladies there and um, I was kind of like freaking out. Like I was, I was so scared because I, you know, that's not what I thought I was getting into that yeah, day. Yeah, yeah. It's almost like traumatizing because you think you're gonna go hang out with friends and then next thing you know, you're you're getting a 5150 hold and something. And then, and this, this is why I, I feel like when I, when I watch you, you always have like someone around you so that way someone doesn't, I guess, try to trap you again or, or do that to you again, if that makes sense. Because I know that your your mom, you had called your mom and she was like, what is going on? And she was super supportive. And then, you know, I, I saw the, the other interviews you've done, the few that you have done, you haven't done many. And it seems like they were trying to paint your mom to be a person that she's not, because she's always been like really next to you and helping you. So I think a lot of people don't know the real relationship you have, like people, in the chat, Eugenia has a mom, she has a father, he works in the city, and like she's not by herself, if that makes sense, right? Exactly. And so to see, to think that you're in some place with maybe like a jumpsuit on, I just think like, wow. And you were there for how long? It was crazy. So, you know, it's supposed to be like, I think like a, um, like, what is it, like a 72 or, or like, yeah, like 72 hour hold or, or something uh, like that. It feels like forever. It's like, and when you kind of get in those places, um, they just kind of treat you like you're crazy. Like anything you say, they're kind of- Yeah, I don't believe you. They're not going to believe you. Yeah, I get what you're yeah, saying. They're not going to take it seriously. And the place I was at, like literally like right next door, um, there was like, uh, it was like a jail basically. So yeah. there's just- people you know not to judge like anyone that's been to jail or anything like that like i know there's a lot of good people that you know end up coming out of jail and being good people um but people are just like all like swearing at each other like yelling things like banging on walls like it's really scary i would assume so scary and we're all just kind of like in the same room i i think i was only there because i think like at first, my mom couldn't even like talk to me because it, that, that was already like established that like she's bad. Like I, she wasn't even allowed to like speak to me. Um, and then eventually somehow I was able to get them to kind of be like, like, oh, but even like when she was allowed to talk to me, it would be like for like a minute. I'd have to like stand behind like a line. And Whoa. yeah, like and that, and you got, a lot of people don't know that they don't know that about that that happened because you really don't speak about it in detail like that. Uh, it's like, anytime I do, I kind of just feel like people kind of tell me that like you know I'm wrong, um, I'm I'm crazy, I deserve it. Like um, I don't so think no. Like, I don't, the, the thing, so now I feel like because that happened to you, you got caught off guard. Your friends. I, they, I feel like not all help is good help sometimes. Does that make sense? Like, I mean, I, I say that because I've seen people try to help and it just makes things worse. So if she was, if, and no hate to Jacqueline Glenn, 
because she was in her mind she thought she was doing the right thing she thought she was helping eugenia and maybe that wasn't the right way to go about it but i'm not here to judge but with that because i don't want to send her any hate please do not send her any hate or anything like that i i just i just think because i've i've known you so long on the internet and i feel so sad that you were in that situation like in like somewhat of a jail for oh, like hours and hours felt like forever you know once my mom kind of did get there oh my gosh becky you just gifted people like 30 subs oh, thank, thank you erica you so much. that's crazy really appreciate it becky um but oh my gosh like they ended up releasing me from there like like a little bit early because my mom kind of got involved and then eventually like they they did but even just being there for like a, a day or two like it feels like forever like yeah. it's it's really i don't know like it's it's, it's very be scary because of that i feel like it would be hard for you to trust people it was it you was know like and then and then because your mom was involved i can now i relate to your mom when she's thinking like well is this person really a friend you know totally. so i i get that like my mom it's it's there's a lot of kind of weird things that happen because like she did kind of tell her off over the phone um just because like you know she thinks i'm coming home later she wasn't expecting that i was gonna end up there um and she was not like happy about it like like at all um there's some things that were said that weren't true like there was another person that is like one of jacqueline's friends that claim that she said she's like an, i don't know if i should say her name or not um, um I, I i would not say their name I'll but you could just you. well we'll we'll but, just we'll I'm, call them uh like monica what's the same yeah, monica yeah so she's like another person on youtube and she claimed that my mom said all this crazy stuff and sent jacqueline like voicemails and none of that was ever true because my mom doesn't even have jacqueline's number so I'm like, what are people talking about? Like, I'm so confused. Okay. Oh my gosh, Becky, thank you so thank much. Thank you guys for all the love in the in the chat. Well, and so, and so that, that's why I feel like it's hard for you to trust people. And, yeah. and then also your family allowing you to welcome people in your circle. That's so true. Like after that, my mom was kind of like, oh my gosh, Eugenia, you can't trust anyone. Like literally like um she's like you have to be like super careful and i was feeling like that myself kind of like for a while like anyone i would like talk to i'd be like you're not like gonna you know yeah. do this to me right or you're not gonna like tell her and um you know do anything like 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 that right? i was just kind of like like paranoid about like everybody i guess Cause yeah. I i'm gonna i'm gonna jump forward a little bit because oh, yeah. you oh, you've had like your the some commissioners in your state or something yeah. contact you or social workers contact you and this yeah. is recent this is recent guys right here because yeah. i saw you you were in a you were in like a car driving there you took a photo and you're like on the way to go something yeah. you, you, like they were like a mobile crisis team like the most recent okay. ones anyway because there's kind of always people making like these like crazy calls um so these ones actually came to my house do you get a mobile crisis team come to your house yeah okay other... so with with that being said i think it's starting to get a little wild in in here so let's switch over to sub mode sounds good all right guys we're gonna go into sub mode for a bit so um big thank you again everyone that's been subscribing today guys big thank you to becky becky i think you gifted like 40 people or something that is so crazy MVP. i appreciate you so much yes becky you are such an mvp mvp becky in the chat guys <laughs> And okay, all right, guys, put the rich emotes in there, by the way, <laughs> subscribers. All right, so we left off when you were talking about a mobile crisis team. Did, when was it, like last week? Yeah, so it was actually just, I think, like a few days ago. But do you know why? Do you know why I think they came now? It's because you posted this video and it went it went viral. I mean, how was it 50 something million views now it has? The Beyonce one? or the well, selena i think the selena one got more views than beyonce if, if i'm right let me pull it up here because so so first of all for you guys to know this is what i think really triggered the mobile crisis team to come over because eugenia cooney posted this video on her on her TikTok, and it got a lot of attention so it's sitting at 76.5 million views and so this is what she's doing right 
So here's Eugenia, right? She's dancing and she's smiling. She's dancing and smiling. And I feel that people reported you because this got 76 million views because they were like, this is so shocking. Oh my God. Yeah. So, so they called the commissioner to come to your, a mobile crisis team to come to your house, if that makes sense. So, and I think this is, I think this is what, what it was. I think it was that video that made it happen. But that's my opinion. I have no receipt. I just, I'm just. I kind of agree. I, I definitely kind of agree, Rich. Thank you, Holly, for subbing. Thank you guys all so much. Um, because like, I don't know, like since then, there's kind of been like two, like these like news outlets and things like that. Taylor, yeah. it's so good to see you. Hi, Taylor. Thank you for the galaxy. Um, so yeah, it's like, I kind of think like, probably you know some people see that video and then some of them just kind of yeah. want to do these crazy things like i had to actually talk to them again today just on the phone this time not like in person but um so they're following up with you yeah kind of following up with me and they were just kind of like um telling me like i guess people are trying to call like senators and do crazy things like that so that's why you know they just want me to know like yeah that's why like we have to because these people really going far with this like they're trying to like 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 be like how can you let this girl like not like well, yeah, yeah because that's not the first time because i there have been petitions to take you off of youtube oh yeah it's you know and i i saw i remember that and, and there's there was we have so much girl there's so it's just the, there's a whole lore behind eugenia so <laughs> So when the when the mobile crisis team came over, did they knock on the door? Um, you know, they like before they came, one of the guys like he kind of called me like two days before because um, they like it's not like the first time there was like there's been like other times where like they've just kind of like showed up um, like there was another time like I don't know how long ago, maybe it was like, I don't know, a month or two ago. And I actually wasn't there like my mom was there. And she was just kind of telling me, like, she she sometimes gets a little bit, like, scared with this stuff. So she was like, yeah, there's, like, these two people. They came. They're from, like, the crisis team. They said, you have to call them back. Like, I hope it's, like, nothing bad. And I was like, oh, okay, I hope not, too. Um, and then I called him, and the guy was, like, nice and everything. He just kind of, I guess, like, told me, like, how they're getting all these calls, and they have to, like, make sure things are okay. And I was like, yeah. And he was like, okay, well, you know, probably won't be the last time. Um, yeah, I, I think, I think the, even the local police know oh, when yeah, they, they know me now. Like, yeah. Well, they're low because the local police know Eugenia because people call the police and they're like, we have another call about Eugenia. So like, this is not just a girl who's on TikTok and people are like, oh my God, this is crazy. I'm, someone needs to say something like there are multiple people who have checked in on you. You know, and then like I've had real conversations with you off camera and like she's fine. Like if you look at her, if you look at her TikToks, right, you see her dancing and smiling. You have she's been 5150. She without her even like, you know, it was like a trap. And then you have local authorities coming to your house, calling you on top of that. And then you get pizza sent to your house and you get diapers sent to your house like a whole nother thing is like the diapers it's like and, and so it, at what point it's like that's just and i understand that people are concerned you, oh my gosh sarah thank you with the cuddles did i ever tell you i got like baby formula no yeah, they literally sent me baby formula in the mail <laughs> I'm like, what? Isn't there like a baby formula? And, like and I've seen it all. Like people will say like Eugenia is wearing a wig. You remember they always say that, that it's yeah. not her hair. And so, and so, and it, it's almost interesting to see people like, I mean, it's, it's kind of hard to pick up the phone and say, Hey, can you check on this girl? Look at her social media and they look at it and you're dancing and smiling. And then they're like, okay, well, let me go check on her. And they're like, yeah, I'm fine. I'm right here it's like crazy like oh yeah sorry to cut you off no 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 <laughs> i i just i just feel like if something were to happen like let's say you if you people are saying eugenia cooney needs help i think that you would have gotten it because you do have like you it's it's not just the internet people because i see in the chat so and so enable so and so enable but like you have a group of people around you in real life and like like go touch some grass like in real life like your mom your dad I think, I don't know if you have a brother or something. 
and and out there and so you have like people around you you know or yeah. sister i don't know so and then what really what i got upset about is that eugenia has a pet dog named buzz yes and what what happened to buzz okay so there was like a while ago um and this is like insane because like like literally like we we, we love our dog we, we love animals so much and like we, we love dogs so there was somebody they literally called like the animal control center i think that's what they're called like like this was like kind of a while ago oh v baby thank you so much um and they literally said that we're like abusing our dog um it's like crazy i mean buzz like it's it's hard to believe because he has like a lot of energy and like he's he'll act like a puppy but like our vet explained to us that um like first of all like sometimes his nails get kind of long um but it, they said if like we cut them too short it, it could be like harmful to him so we just kind of go by what our vet says and that sometimes his nose gets kind of dry um but they told us like with pugs because pugs will have like kind of like some breathing issues and stuff kind of because of like you know they have kind of like squished faces and that that's like it's like normal especially when pugs are like older so <laughs> it's like yeah guys anytime buzz is like at all sick mama j i love you so much thank you or like there seems like there's anything wrong with him like he's like immediately taken to like the vet so people and it was crazy when they came over they were actually really nice like they were like oh wow you know we're really surprised we were called in for such a well taken care of dog um <laughs> But it's like, it's scary because it's like, imagine like if they did take away our dog, like that would have been like horrible. And I don't think they would, because I think like, you know, they have to like actually like look at things, but you never know. Like I'll tell you with like the 5150 thing, like everything they were saying, like, like they, they'll, they would say something different, but they were literally saying like so many things that like weren't true with my family and with a lot of things. But it was kind of like four against one, you know. So it's like they're not gonna listen to me. Like, I guess you're saying. And so then, I guess they would talk. They had to talk to your family too. They, oh, the, the fifty-one fifty or the dog people. Sorry. I would say in both in in both those situations that they speak oh, no. to them. With no? the fifty-one fifty, they were just like, oh, okay, cool. like, can I like, you guys can talk to someone or you know, I can like do what I gotta do. I really what don't want to know. Wait, wait. They were just like, we're making the decision, and like we'll, we'll like we'll like, you know we're figuring it out. Um, and yeah. they, they were like, nope, not happening. Basically, like your friend, your friends said this. So um, af after you got out of the 5150 hold, uh, and then a couple, I guess a couple of weeks passed by, you met with Shane Dawson to shoot the, the video. You did a video with Shane Dawson and it, it sits at 32 million views. I think I texted you. Yeah, which I you're actually, so nice about it. I was like, maybe I shouldn't have done that. No, no, but, no, I appreciated it. But when you see that, are you like, still figuring out who that person is because you've looked a certain way for so long and now you're changing you know i mean i guess like for me sometimes i do find like i can be kind of like critical of myself um i look really bad here this is just one where i'm like like barely any makeup there i don't know i guess i've never really had like the highest self-esteem which you know i'm trying to like work on and stuff you know i think it is like really good though that like i did make that decision to um, get myself back to like a healthy place and to like do what is like what I should be doing and is that something too that is going to be a big adjustment like because there's going to be I'm sure even on this video I'm sure yeah. there's going to be a lot of comments about oh, you look so great and then kind of comparing it to the last time they saw you particular video right, yeah to now and then are you prepared for that I guess it's I guess it kind of is like an adjustment like seeing like what people will say and like seeing those comments and to try to like view it as a good thing that like yeah. they're trying to like you know make positive comments towards you and yeah if that makes sense and he came to your house and visited you and, and y'all hung out and that was like really nice because that was kind of how i got to like know shane better and shane like i you know can never say enough good things about him and he's someone that you know i kind of felt like when i met him like he was someone that was like really genuine and actually like a good friend and it's like you know i guess like sometimes like i'll always kind of get like a little bit like especially out of that situation i was kind of so nervous to like talk to like anyone because i was just like oh i don't want people to like ever do that again sorry to kind of go back no, there no, you're fine like, no but so it's 
the Shane the Shane Dawson video, he he said that he really wanted to be respectful and he really like he really like showed videos. He in cause did you watch it? Cause sometimes I can't watch stuff I'm in. Did you actually watch it? Sometimes like when I watch myself, I kinda like cringe, but I, I did though. Like when Shane was like Gotta watch her shame, and, you know. And so, in what I found interesting, because I learned, I learned some stuff about you watching that documentary you were in with Shane Dawson, oh. and he said, like, you know, people always bring up your how you look physically, and he he said she never she never talks about like you never talk about that, like you just you kind of just sit here, you do your thing, you vibe out, yeah. and then that's always the main topic in the comments, and and I was just like, that's right, because you have other creators. I'm not gonna say their names who they they talk about what they look like and then you you have eugenia who doesn't address it at all and i was like that's so true like she doesn't talk about it and so when i first came across you i was like well if she's not talking about it it makes it makes me feel kind of uncomfortable to even bring it up you know so that's why i was just been respectful and because i was like well if she's not talking about it then you know and i think when shane did his documentary he talked about you coming out of that the 5150 thing and it, it really left the audience like relating with you more and getting to know you more because we saw you in a way we've never saw you before in that film yeah you know i think shane like he does such an amazing job with like with all his documentaries and can kind of like really show like a different yeah. side of people um so, so I, I feel like if you guys haven't seen the documentary with eugenia cooney check it out it's on youtube uh it's what's what's it called again I forgot. I forgot the name of it. It's it's just just type in Shane Dawson, Eugenia Cooney. It's like a really long documentary, and you know he basically lets us into the world of Eugenia Cooney. And I was like, I left that documentary feeling like, wow, this girl has been, in my opinion, like tormented online, and and got so many negative comments, and 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 you're, it's just it's a very difficult, delicate thing to talk about. But I'm just like. You know, I left just loving you and not hating you, you know? And that's the thing, like, if you ever want someone to get help, don't, never send negative comments. Just show them love and support because it's not going to do anything by sending hate. That's my opinion. Insane. Like, I think if anything, it just kind of, like, makes people feel worse, you know? And then it's, like, kind of, like, if I ever say that, then it's, like, everyone just says that I'm, I'm gaslighting people. Like, yeah, I've, I've seen it, the comment, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and so, I'm just, like, and, guys, like, I'm not trying to like tell you guys how to feel or anything like that i'm just kind of like i just don't think it really does any good to just kind of go and be mean to other people and you know yeah. just kind of some yeah. people go to like fairy fairy far extents and it's like if anything i just kind of think that's like more stressful on people yeah and, and i i get the blunt end of it too like just even doing this interview with you, people are so upset. They're angry. They're like, Rich, how how dare you give her a platform? And I get the same thing. Like, uh, even with Shane Dawson, when I did collaborations with him, I got the same negative comments. When I associate with Jeffree Star, I get the same negative comments. And it's like, if I talk about their favorite, their favorite influencers, I get the same negative comments. So, like, it's hard for me to make friends, too, because it's like, oh my god rich is so controversial you can't be his friend and stuff like that and i'm just, just like girl give them multiple chances and and like i love people like you jeffrey star shane dawson and just people who just beat at their own drum like i just i love it and it's part of like who i am at a core because we're both i would consider us like scene kids in a sense like the rich? whole style there you go wait what happened oh uh, what are they Oh no, Rich. Okay, you're back. Did... It's like, no, I was like, I'm gonna agree with everything. I was like, this is such a bad time for just to like stop. You're back. Okay, I'm back. I'm back. But I was just saying, like, because your style is very much like a scene kids type of style. <laughs> yes. And I and I was gonna say I agree with everything you were saying, Rich. And honestly, like, I think people like you and 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 Jeffrey and Shane um are honestly like some of the Thank nicest you. people I've talked to online and like you know literally some of my favorite people in the world so it makes me like sad too just kind of like you know seeing that I feel like just like a lot of people get kind of like misunderstood online thank you for the subscription Nancy and um I just kind of feel like sometimes people are way too fast to like judge someone yes and Paul you guys a hundred percent yes I already know the Paul Dow dynasty love Paul Dow yes 
And it's just like, I don't know, I just kind of think like sometimes people shouldn't just like blindly just like believe some of like the terrible things that people say about them on the internet and actually like, you know, get to know somebody before like you just decide that you like hate them. And I always feel bad too for like people like you that are like so nice and have been really good friends and then people like attack you just for like, you know, being nice to me or call you an enabler. And I'm like, I, I, I <laughs> like, never want to like cause that for anyone. Yeah. So, okay. I always feel so bad about that. But, but it's, you have to be strong because, you know, if a normal people would break, you know, and they would be like, okay, Eugenia, I can't be your friend. I get so many negative comments, you know what I'm saying? And they, it's like, no girl like i i know listen i know eugenia cooney she's been very sweet nothing but kind like literally one of the kindest souls out there like she she's quirky she has her own vibe going she's always like i don't want to offend and like like it's the whole vibe she's a very nice person off camera and on camera and to, to see you get such an amount of negative comments it really hurts because when you look at it you really haven't like like there are people that I have came after. Okay, yeah, blame me. Yeah, I get it, you know. But like you, you never come after anybody. I don't you know? Try to. Like I really don't try to be mean to anyone or start like issues. Like I I just try to be nice to people and I don't know, but it seems like just like a lot of people they just Mm -hmm. always think I'm like the devil here basically. <laughs> so, so how do you get into like the scene kid? like the goth style, like the fashion, avant-garde, like that whole thing. I've always just like really liked that kind of fashion and like that it was like, you know, kind of different and, yeah. you know, kind of like back in like those MySpace days, like, I like, thought it was so cool. And then, <laughs> yeah, and then, then you would see people like Jeffrey that, you know, they have like such a cool style with it. And um, I feel like just like, you know, like MySpace yeah. lines there. And yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just always liked that it was kind of like, you know, different and like, it just kind of was like more exciting to me than just kind of, I guess, like, like no offense at all to people that like kind of more like plain. Or... The boring ones, we got a boring one. <laughs> the basic ones. No, but I just want you to know, like you are a beautiful person. Just know that. And I know that there's a lot of negative noise and we live in a world where there's, there's so much toxicity and just so much just negative vibes online, just know that there are people who love you. And because the hate will always like, it, it's, it's, it's a lot louder than the love, but the love is there. They're just like, they're quiet, they're there. They know, they know what's real. And so sometimes I watch some of your videos and like, I've seen your videos and sometimes you're just crying because some of these comments that you get, like I see like clips of it. Moments. I try to not get like that. And then there's been a few instances where it just kind of happens. And then I always feel so stupid. I'm like, oh my gosh, like, why am I doing this? And I guess like there's been a few moments where it just kind of became like a lot or, you know, um, and it's usually just over, it's been over like such like, like stupid things. Yeah. Like I've always, been, I've always been drawn to people who are like just so different. Um, like Amanda Lepore is one of them. Like they're just so different. And they're, they usually run in like the, the club circuit, the scene kid the whole club kid lifestyle. Like I've always just naturally just gr like drawn to that because it's different. Like, cause I didn't want to be like normal. I didn't want to be like boring. Like I want to be like a, <laughs> go ahead. Everyone else, I feel like that's like, it's boring, you know? It's mm. like, if everybody was the same, like think about how boring the world would be. So it's like, you know, Rich, like there's only one of you, you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly triangles and all that it's like why would you just want to be like like a normal person you know yeah, um, nice. so yeah, the world had more of you you're so sweet mama j thank you florence mama j is really nice mama whoa so sweet. thank you karina all you guys all right so you guys okay go ahead, Rich. i'm so sorry no so then so then we have let's talk about one of your biggest biggest online to my my opinion one of your biggest online haters right okay. um there's a couple in mine <laughs> kelly ray ray thank you so um, wait, and, and, and again if you don't want to talk about this just say no comment oh. so we're getting into and i'm gonna say the name onision oh yeah he was kind of uh, like a start that's like <laughs> the eugenia so, hey i'm eugenia kenny i'm doing a cooking 
show. But first, I'm going to eat something on camera to prove to you guys that I do eat. Here are some cucumbers. Are you ready for me to prove you guys wrong, Freely the Banana Girl and Onision? Mmm, I love cucumbers. See, I eat, I love food. Mmm, so good for my tummy. So today I'm going to cook some stir fry. We'll start out by grabbing a big... So this guy, for those who don't know, he made a lot of videos about Eugenia Cooney. He would act like her. He would like make these videos of, he would dress up like Eugenia and do- Eugenia kitchen video or whatever, cooking. Yeah, Eugenia kitchen videos. And, and he would like just make these parody videos of you. And I feel like it really fostered like an online, this negative community of people who didn't like you. They went over there. Definitely. Like, it was crazy. Like, you know, it kind of started out as like, you know, like 4chan and stuff like that. Like, they would kind of like make fun of me and be like, you know, call me like probably a lot of comments that people see online. But he kind of turned it into like this thing of like beyond just make fun of Eugenia. He kind of turned it into like Eugenia is a bad person. She knows what she's doing. She's influencing people like um, you know, basically like go dislike all her videos. Like he started really encouraging it's people. Like you can't say that though. Like that's against terms of service to say that. Really? Because yeah. people listening to him at the time, like, I think now, um, he's kind of, you know, not really as liked, um, cause like <laughs> some, some pretty big things with him, I guess, but yeah at the time like everyone was just listening to him and it was crazy because he originally was nice to me like way back like he he was like making videos in support of me and saying like people shouldn't hate on eugenia um he he would like message me here and there sometimes like being nice yeah. <laughs> i guess he so, just kind of was like oh let's switch it up um <laughs> so yeah i think he's off social media now i believe i think so uh, yeah I think so but uh, i don't want to spend too much time on on him but i just like like here not only are you getting negative comments in your video in your chat you're getting 5150 to your house you're getting uh, mobile crisis team sent over yeah hmm? they, they invited me to their house and then so yeah. that was, there was no one else around so i was like oh great <laughs> so and, and then so you're getting it from all these angles and then you get the situation where you have an, a person who's just making dedicated videos about you so negative one well, i'm talking okay. about anisi on one anisi on one yes so i would just it was it just it's like even if you don't like you like, if you don't like eugenia that's fine you don't have to like me you don't have to like eugenia right but like at what point do you be like wow this is a lot of negativity here i don't want to be a part of that you know and you just like st take a step back it's i don't know i just feel like it's unjustly I feel because see like if I didn't like somebody I would just kind of like not watch them you know mm -hmm. like, I just kind of feel like um you know like you can like there's yeah like, there's, there's, like hate watching is a thing people hate Van watching so. Luke! Van Luke how are you Van Luke with the mocha the monkey we love you Van Luke thank you so um I'll have a, a few more questions um yes. so okay so your mom she's been really sweet uh, she's on your videos and that's how people know her we've seen her in cooking videos with you and she really shows how caring she is for you how does she deal with like the fame and the hate that so, comes from you she gets like you know like she's like supportive of me like doing what i do she gets a little bit scared though like certain things freak her out like when you know there starts being like teams sent to the house or uh, we had like a while ago, like there was people that actually like, we still don't really know who they are, but they, they came to our house. They were just kind of doing like, like chalkboard drawings outside, mm -hmm. um, like on our driveway. And we still don't know who it is. It was, it was kind of weird. Um, and like, you know, death threats, things like that, like that stuff, like when she hears like that kind of thing or some of like, I, I get some really scary emails and things like that, like that stuff, it, 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 it will kind of freak her out sometimes because wow your own mom whoa she just like doesn't so she so she gets negative comments too and it, I, oh wow yeah, 
people will be so like mean to her. I mean, I think at this point, like she, she doesn't really look at it. And sometimes like with me, she's like, Eugenia, you're, you're so dumb. How do you like believe, not in a mean way, but just like, how do you even believe this stuff? Cause sometimes like when I'm reading things, I'm like, yeah. oh, why does this person like think that? Like, and she's like, Eugenia, like there's just literally no point like in listening to like, like Reddit or places like that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so and I understand, I understand like concern isn't hate. I get that. I get that in the comments. Like I see it. And so I just I just want to say that if people being concerned is not a negative thing. It, it is okay to be generally concerned for people. So would you ever go on the H3H3 podcast? Um, maybe, you know, I don't I don't know like too much about him. I know he's talked about me like here and there. Well, um, well, the H3H3 podcast is, is like is the number one podcast on YouTube, oh, in oh, my oh, opinion. Oh. And I feel like I'm rooting for you and I would love for him to have you on the show, you know, I think, yeah, he's in California, I believe. And people always say that I should go on the show. I want to petition. I mean, it'll be great. It'll be a good laugh, but I think I want to petition you to go on the Acer A3 show because it, they're it's, I love that podcast and Ethan Klein is very respectful. The whole team over there, and I, I understand that he's not perfect, neither am I. I don't agree with everything he's done in his past. I'm sure he doesn't agree with stuff I've done in my past. But the Ethan guy I know today is nice. And so I think that if he ever asks you to go on there, girl, do it. Oh, thank you, Rachel. You know, if you say it, if he asks me, then I think like, hey, I'll have to like, I'll have to say yes. I don't know if he would ever want me on it, but <laughs> You know, if he does, I'll have to be like, I hey, think, yeah, I think it would break the internet. I like, really, I think it really would. Um, so, okay, how did you get, how did you get obsessed with Disney and Hello Kitty? Wow, so Disney, it's like, I guess like a lot of my family, like they just always like have like loved Disney. So we would just kind of like always be like going to like the Disney parks and, and all of that, you know, and then Hello Kitty, I guess like she's just kind of been around for like, I don't even know how many years now, like forever. Yeah. Um, thank you, Tommy. So then like, I just kind of, I always thought she was really, really cute. And then I guess like, you know, I bought one thing of her and then that just kind of like led to more and more and yes, yeah, in Rio for life guys. And now it's just like, hello kitty. Everyone. <laughs> Let's go. I I mean, uh, how, my next question is, um, so you had, you had a situation with you and Adam McIntyre where he said oh, you were rude God. to him. Yeah. Uh, do you want to talk about that? Oh yeah, that's fine. Totally. So, you know, Adam, it's like, we're cool now and everything. Like, you know, um, I, I think he probably knows he didn't meet me, but it was so weird. Like, okay. So at VidCon, um, I wasn't there. I actually haven't even gone to VidCon in, in years basically but um it's really weird like adam said that there was like um a girl that he he said it was me he was like posting it on twitter um and is, my mom, you? is it a picture of you no there's no pictures that's okay. Okay, he no says picture. that i shook my head or something and i was like <laughs> okay but okay so i pulled him off what yeah, and I'm like, I was so confused. I was actually like really confused because like I wasn't at VidCon. I wasn't even in California. I was literally in Connecticut. So I was like, wait, Adam, what? I haven't been to VidCon in in years. And anytime like I do go to a convention or like, you know, times I've been in Disney or whatever, like if people like stop me, like I'll always stop. Like I love meeting people. I don't ever mind. So it's like, no guys, like if I was there, I would have never turned someone down for a picture. Um, and then I felt kind of bad. Like if he really thought that he met me, like I was, I'm, I, I still don't really know exactly what happened with that. But if he really thought he met me, I mean, I guess I, I felt kind of bad. Um, that he thought that like, I would be like that, like in person. Cause trust me, like if I meet someone, I would never like, you know. Yeah, because I, I've seen you, like I've seen you move around and like at Disney, you walk around, I've seen you meet other creators like Sloan and like you physically met like Sloan and you hung out with people. And so <clears throat> when people say like show concern, 
it's like because it, you leave like there's so many videos of you like out in public walking around and stuff like that so i get that and i get that you get a lot of stares and people are looking at you and so how does that make you feel so you know usually i don't mind like if people yeah. want to like come and say hi then i think like usually when i meet people they're really sweet and i always love you know getting to meet them and <laughs> You know, getting to meet like real, like some really nice people. I've had like some like kind of weird situations where like people will kind of like take photos of me and then go and like post them on 4chan and things like that. Wow. And be, like, I saw her in person and almost like like kind of make it into like like they they're, like they don't like me or something and they just take photos. So it's a little bit weird just because it's like you know. I wouldn't normally ever mind or anything like that, but it's kind of like if they, it doesn't happen that much, but like if they didn't like me, yeah. oh, Krista, thank you so, so much with the leaves. Um, but yeah, it's like if they didn't like me and then they just kind of go, I guess, like posting it on 4chan, I'm kind of like, oh, like that's kind of weird that I had no idea this person was even there. And they're, so they're taking pictures and you're like, you don't even know that they're snapping pictures behind your back. Okay, so at a convention, I'm just kind of like in a line or something. And I'm like, wow, I had no idea there was someone that doesn't like me that was like that close to me taking photos. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so like, what is that kind of thing? That's what it's like a little bit, I guess. But, like, okay, so when you have, when you're out and about, right? And you have people and they're like, what the fuck? And they see you, like, do you just smile at them or you just ignore it? Like or you're like, take a picture, it'll last longer. Like, what do you, what do you, what do you, t uh, what, like, what's your reaction? Because like, there's been like some instances where like people kind of be like looking at me a lot. Um, but then like, I'm not sure if they know me. Like, I'm not sure if they want to say hi or they don't. And it's like, I don't want to go up to them and be like, hi, like, I know, like, you guys know who I am. Let's take a photo. Cause then it's like, if they don't, then I'm like, wow, I don't want to seem like I, you know, think I'm like a big deal or anything like that. And then I would probably be really awkward. So sometimes I'll just kind of like, you know, be like, oh, hi, like kind of smile. And then if they want to come up, then, then like, I'm always like happy to like say hi to people and meet people and stuff. But at the same time, like you do have to be careful because you know, like not everyone has good intentions too. And, and that's the thing, like, sometimes I feel like, like when I'm out and people are like, oh my God, Rich, can I take a picture with you? And like, I'm, I'm under pretty honest. I'm like, listen, I don't have any makeup on right now. Like I'm not in character. This like, I'm, I'm out, I can't get a day off to save my life. And it's like, I understand that people who watch you and support you are, they put you in the position that, that you're in, but at the same time, you don't, you don't have to take a picture with people. Like you don't owe it to them. You know, you don't, so they can post it on Facebook and get five likes, you know? I mean, it's nice that you do that. Like, it's so nice that you do take pictures with people, but just know like you don't have to, cause you are a person, you know? I good to hear that. Cause like, yeah, you know, even like last time, actually I was in Disney and then it was kind of like, it was like the day we were leaving and I had no time to do makeup that day, but there was a girl, she was really nice. And she was kind of like, Oh, could I get a photo? Um, and I, I, I took it. Cause I was like, okay. I'm sorry. I look so bad right now, <laughs> but I felt, I, I felt, I felt bad saying no. So I was just like, yeah, well, we can do it. Of course. <laughs> I was like, you, you, to her. I was like, I'm so well, you did, you took a picture. <laughs> Well, that was good that you took it. That was good. Yeah. I always like, well, let me see. Let me see the picture. Okay. Oh, delete okay. that one. Delete yeah. that one. Okay. That one's good. Okay. Keep that one. Because, you know, especially when people post it around, I know like some people <laughs> don't really judge those photos. Like, I think there was like one more time that for some reason I didn't have makeup on going out and then it kind of got on Reddit and everyone was like, oh my gosh, she got like no makeup on here. Like, like they're just all like discussing it. I'm like, oh. <laughs> Like it's, I don't know. So I can that's the vibe, that yeah. here, like a little bit, like, do you, you, know, do you wanna, um, Eugenia, do you wanna, since you have sub only chat open on your end? I have questions in the <laughs> chat. Someone said it's okay to say no. I need to learn that, that of it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I guess sometimes it is. Oh, CJB said you're so kind, Eugenia. If more people were 
like you, the world would be a, that's so sweet. Thank you, CJ. I think if more people were like rich in the world, it would be an amazing world. Thank you so <laughs> much. Halloween movies, uh, Nightmare. I love Nightmare Before Christmas. My Showgirls. Oh, Showgirls. Is that a Halloween movie? You can, yeah, I get it. It, it flopped really bad when it came out, but now it's like a cult classic. As Showgirls has a good movie. Girl. I'll have to like, Rich, if you say it's good, I'll have to Oh look. yeah, I like it. I like it. Showgirls is one of my favorite movies. Oh, I'll just, like, I'll keep it on in the background a lot. So just, I love it. Jeez. Now I'm like, I gotta see Showgirls. So, so Showgirls. Um, I wanted to switch gears here. How is your relationship with Jeffree Star? Are y'all, do y'all, have you spoken to him? Have y'all ever met in person and things like that? I love Jeffree. I think that Jeffree, he's, he's such an amazing person and every time that we've like talked he's always been so sweet he's another person that i'll feel really really bad um if people call him like an enabler and all these things and i never want to cause that for him so i just really appreciate him like you know not kind of being like i don't want to not be your friend eugenia because of this stuff and um i've never actually met him in person i've talked to him like a lot on tiktok and you know, online and um, known him a long time, but yeah, so we've been friends a long time, but yeah, I've never met him in person, but I would, I would love to. So are you, are you on the PR list? <laughs> People want to know. Actually, like he, I, he was nice enough to send me like. Ah, oh, she's on the PR list. <laughs> she let's go. Happy. That was so nice of him. So I was going to buy it all. Like he totally did not have to, but I appreciate it so much. So such a big um, thank you to Jeffrey. He's amazing. Well, I mean, so I get it. So that's interesting because I saw that he made a post the other day. He was on, on a live and he was like, you guys, and this Jeffrey, and I think you were, you were in that, you were in the box. Oh. And he said, he said, you guys, like, I know Eugenia, we spoken off camera and he really defended you. In that, do you remember that? You were there. I don't know if you remember or not. Yes, and I, I, I can't even like ever like thank Jeffrey enough for that because he's really been somebody that is like you know really defended me, and honestly, I'll, I'll always be like you know so grateful for that and um to have just an amazing friends like him because I, I don't know. I feel like you know a lot of people they, they like. I'm like kind of too toxic and I get that I'm kind of like a hard person to be friends with and and Jeffrey I just honestly think he's like one of the most amazing people and he's so sweet and I feel like he's another person that just like never deserves hate like at all and well uh, here's the thing right that I know like behind the scenes is that behind the scenes Jeffree Star has helped so many people yes. and, and doesn't talk about it oh. like whether it be like donations or charities and then when you're are when you are when you're a person with that much wealth, you constantly get like these sad stories like, oh, I have cancer or oh my god, I, I need some financial help. And then from what I know, Jeffree Star has helped people behind the scenes and sent them thousands of dollars and doesn't ever talk about it at all. But people don't see that side of it. You know, they they only see like they, they only want to believe like the the headlines and like the BS, you know what I'm saying? Because Jeffree Star helping people is not going to get that many clicks as opposed to him throwing a tantrum or calling out someone who's being dishonored or something like that, you know? And so, and, and I just want people to know that in the chat. Jeffree Star won't talk about it, but I'll talk about it. He helps a lot of people financially behind the scenes who are in need of help, whether it be charities, foundations, or individuals. And people don't talk about that. I feel like that's so, so true, Rich. And I just feel like, you know, like if people really like knew Jeffrey and knew what a good person he was, then I feel like, I don't know, like I hate like when I see like people, you know, being mean to him and like making these horrible videos and just kind of like judging like, like him too, just off of like stupid, like drama that people just like make up. And I feel like that's so unfair. And that's exactly the thing, you know, he's helped so many people. I feel like to the people that like know him and are like friends with him, he's honestly like such a good friend. And he's been honestly one of the people that's been like the kindest to me. And I can really never thank him enough for that. And just like for, you know, genuinely just being like such a good friend and such a good person. And I can never say how much like it means to me. So yeah, I know with so many other people, I'm sure they'd say the same thing. Like, you know, he's helped so many people. Mm -hmm. So I just really think, you know, he only deserves love and 
Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, these next these next few questions just say okay. no comment, or you don't have to answer them. Remember, it's okay to say no, girl. Okay. You just say I don't know, no comment. Okay, just just say it. Practice no comment. No comment. Okay. okay, easy like that, you guys. And if she says no comment, we have to respect Eugenia and move on. And that's just the way it is. You know, it totally respect her. Okay. Okay. We, it, like because you guys don't know you guys what you guys don't know is that she gets so many emails from news outlets wanting to interview her you got you know that you know like every time you go viral online your emails start blowing up and people want to talk to you and then they're like we're gonna run a story like do you want to comment and i'm like <laughs> and they run the story anyway without you knowing i usually don't reply because i'm like oh i don't know like what they're gonna turn this story into so it's like you know rich it's good to get to do an interview with someone i know i can trust <laughs> yeah you know exactly it's like it would doesn't that's, like, that's not gonna snake you or whatever like that okay. let me see all right let me um uh, i'm gonna look at my chat here you chat if you want a question for eugenia keep it classy Thank be you. respectful and if she says no comments no comment and i'm gonna pick good ones not negative ones so y'all be nice in the comments because it is it is such a rare it is so rare to have her here. Oh, and I'm so, trying to be here, you know? Uh, okay, so again, you can always say no comment. Are you in therapy? I uh, no, I'm not. Um, She's not yeah, in therapy. I know, like either. some people are like, she should be, she should be doing this, but. Yeah, yeah. so uh, one comment, one, and I'm gonna kind of answer, the comment was, how is your health? So before you answer that, when I look at her, cause like, I see that she's smiling, she's dancing on her TikTok. To me, I'm like, okay. So to answer that question, how is your health? Okay, Rich. Or no comment. You can say no comment. Well, I feel like some people might get like really mad at me, guys. And, you know, I really feel like I'm doing fine, honestly. Um, you know, like I feel like a lot of people kind of always are like, Oh, Eugenia is going to be like dead tomorrow or, you know, making like some really, really dramatic, I guess, like statements. Yeah. Um, but you you get, I see it, I see it in your comments when people say, oh, you're dying. And then you're like, well, I, I, I and you, you have addressed that in several videos I've saw. So and it's like, and, and just by the way, and I'm not trying to act like you guys, like I'm like some sort of like health expert. Like, I feel like sometimes people, if I say that, then they're like, she's preaching this to like like people and i'm like no i'm not trying to like preach anything you guys but you know you i'm go. just saying like i feel like i'm doing okay and like you there know you fine so yeah. um, okay uh i have a question so it be you being eugenia and it being hard to trust people and being what you went through is it hard for you to like date you know like are you because like me like I don't, I've never had a boyfriend. I don't care about having a boyfriend. I like making money. I like working. So that's not really on my mind. So like no one ever talks about Eugenia's boyfriend. Is there? <laughs> I'm kind of totally single rich. Like nobody, <laughs> yeah. So, and I guess it can be, cause you know, I guess it's kind of like the same thing where it's like, you definitely have to be kind of careful because I guess when you just kind of end up with like some bad situations with with people like with some people then yeah. it's just kind of hard to I guess like always trust everybody it's like I don't want to believe like everyone's like I think there are a lot of good people out there and I guess I'm gonna get the right yeah there are but it's like we remember the ones that like did us wrong you know so I get it you know and this is when I when I meet people and they want to they're interested in getting to know me I'm like what do you want you want money do you want clout are you really here for me it really is difficult to to really meet genuine people and and the only reason the only way you find out if they're genuine is with time you know you really got to just like watch them just take a take a, a seat back um but, Yes, sometimes you just have to kind of you know see how like see what happens with people and I guess like you know time will tell if like <laughs> they end up like genuinely being do you like, ever do you ever want to like move away and go into the city or anything like that or you're happy where you're at oh, you know i guess like here it's i guess it's 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 nice here like it's very like you know there's a lot of trees and and but, stuff but like what, that. from what i hear eugenia lives in a huge mansion it's like tucked away in a nice neighborhood so that's, i mean so i wouldn't want to leave either but everyone is different you know, I guess like 
yeah, I guess right now it's like, you know, it's, it's, it's a nice area here. So I guess for now I'm just kind of here. Um, I guess like the city, like I'm not too far away from New York city. So I guess that's like, you know, you live right there. I mean, that's a huge, yeah. that is a huge city. Oh. Like, yeah, New York definitely is like a crazy city. I honestly don't really know if I'd want to like live there because it's like, it's, a, it's, a, it's a crazy place. It's, it's like really, really like, yeah. like it's, it's, it's a lot. Yeah. It's like, it's really expensive too. Let's not forget. Other thing, New York, I think it might be even more expensive than LA. Okay. Like, it's crazy. Um, another question is what are your long-term goals? What do you want to do? And, and like stuff like that. Yeah, that's a good question. So, you know, I guess sometimes like I'm not always exactly even sure like what I'd be good at, like long-term. Like, like me, like if someone asked me like, what's your five-year plan? I'm like, I just want to continue to grow and use, yeah. and just grow my channel and grow my social media presence. And just like, that, nice. just continue to grow the channel, you know? And so is that how you feel too? Yeah, like the same way, I guess, where I'm just kind of like, you know, I guess like trying to make like TikToks and, you know, like, yeah, YouTube and all that. And have, have you ever done any sponsorships or collaborations? Um, You know, I haven't really done like too many. I guess I've done like a couple of things here and there. But I guess at the same time, like I don't always want to do like everything because I guess I don't always want to seem like I'm, I guess, like constantly like, oh, guys, like here like if yeah, i like, sell, like, sell, sell. We'll do it but yeah, yeah i guess i just don't want to seem like i'm just always trying to like sell things sell to people would you be open to doing a sponsorship with the brand or collaboration i think like you know as long as i like genuinely like like it and everything like, like that and like think like you know everyone like the people watching will like it then i think like yeah then i'd be like and open one thing is it is it wrong for me to assume that like most of the people who are who like leave you negative comments or stalk you are they mainly men or women um a lot of them are honestly girls no um, i i always thought it was like guys, guys who were like too. obsessed with like, you and there like, are guys too like there's some guys that like i'll get like in emails and things like that like where they'll be like very very um like angry i yeah. guess you could say like kind of like 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 there's this one guy he emails me under like different emails like every day like a hundred emails and um like rich i wouldn't want to say anything that like makes you like like sad but um like he, he even mentions like you like it's oh. crazy oh listen i get emails too i get death threats i get the negative comments i get it but I, i'm so used to it like whenever i i read it i just forward it to the lawyer like here you go just collect the receipts collect it all Get the little IP address thing going. Just send it over and and let them like like they can catalog it, in because oh you can kind of tell if it's like the same person or a different person stuff like that. Some of them like this. What he's like mad that like I I didn't like run things the way he wanted. I didn't play the games he wanted me to play on Twitch. So like I ruined his life and. Oh wow. <laughs> so. Get rid of her. And he's like, you ruined everything. Uh, he literally told me, he's like, I hope you die in a plane crash. It's like, oh, okay. Whoa. I mean, listen, do not, listen, guys in the chat, and do not wish death upon Eugenia. Like, stop. Because, listen, I believe that there's power in the tongue, and what you say will come back to you. So, y'all need to stop, okay? And if y'all going to send her death threats, just send it to me, okay? No, no, really? Just send it to me, like. She gets, she already gets enough hate as it is. Like, stop saying that in the chat. Like, y'all, like, seriously, that's not nice. Oh, thank you. Okay, you know? I never send rich death threats either. Like, we need rich in the world. He's amazing. If he wasn't here, the world would never be the same. But, um, so, yeah. so this, ne sure. this next question has to do with your community, like your hardcore fans. And so this is why I want to say, if you don't want to answer it, just say no comment, okay? So you amassed a lot of following on Twitch. Like you had a huge hardcore fan base. And then now you are on TikTok a lot. Yeah. And, and, and they're both great platforms. I don't think that, I'm not trying to speak negatively on any of them, but I, I, I have gotten emails. And so I want to ask, they, they wanted me to ask you this. So again, if you don't want to answer, just say no comment, right? Oh, no so the, the comment was, they feel like, have you abandoned Twitch for TikTok? So, you know, 
guys. Like, and again, again, you don't have to answer, EG. It's just up to you. It's up oh, to you. You're, you're fine, Rich. No worries. Um, well, first of all, you know, people that are upset with me because, like, I know that there has been some people that are just like really, I guess, like not happy with me, kind of like being more on TikTok. Um, but honestly, kinda, yeah. I guess I've just kind of been having like so much fun, like here on TikTok, and like you know, like. I don't know, like Twitch, it just kind of was getting like, in some ways, like really like stressful. And then I come in here and it's like, it's been so much fun because, you know, there's people like you and, um, and Jeffrey and a lot of like the really great people that are on here that have made it such a good experience. And a lot of you guys that are nice in chat, you know, and, um, and I'm sure you know like Parsley mm -hmm. and Paul, and it's like, mm -hmm. I just feel like there's like a really nice like community. Community, yeah, there, I, I see it. And I hope it stays that way. I hope you so. know, I always say it's that way. So yeah. do you plan Do you plan to go back to Twitch like every now and then, or you're kind of like, I'm... I guess for now, and, and Taylor, you too, you're such a sweet person, Taylor. Like you're another person. It's been like so great having you on here. Um, So Twitch, like I guess right now, I'm kind of just like, uh, I guess not really so much on there and there's kind of also been like, you know, sorry to like get into this at all, but like some drama too, like with some of like the Twitch mods and, and things like that and not, not, not all of them. I don't mean to like speak badly upon people, but I think like they kind of are mad that like I came over here. So they're like, oh, expose Eugenia now and like nothing even like happens but i guess richie you not you kind of know like how that oh, is oh yeah i see i see a little bit of it and it seems it's kind of petty but yeah. you know you you do have you do have a following over there yeah i would just maybe like, feel kind of bad i'll just maybe like kindly let them know like hey i'm over here now like i'm still alive guys i'm over i'm over here you know so maybe like they'll jump over yeah you know it might like and, and i feel like you know because a lot of them i guess i kind of figured like they follow me on like you know, like Instagram or Twitter, or I guess Twitter is like X now or, or whatever. Yeah. But oh, I so guess toxic, I- bro. Twitter's so toxic, bro. Yeah. Seriously, okay. it's so bad. I just get on there, I'll post something, I'll just get off. I don't even engage. Like a lot of time I barely look at it because like some of the people on there, it's like, it's, it's so bad sometimes. It's so bad. But I guess I kind of figured where I guess like I was posting like, hey guys, I'm more on TikTok now that a lot of them kind of like figured that out. But I can see like what you're saying that it's like a good idea to maybe kind of like just like let people like like I guess like communicate that. Yeah. So that way, hopefully, some of those people wouldn't be like mad. I know like some people get like really upset with that, and I've had people also like you should like refund subs over there, and it's like if I could, I would. <laughs> Whoa. All of that, and it's like. I'm not like trying to like because you're like you're, you're not on over here anymore you should re wow yeah. okay so it's like oh people get so mad at me over that I'm just like Ooh. but I think I think I was I think I remember I it was like a couple months ago I remember telling you um I was like hey get on TikTok remember I was like I was like dude I was like just walk Rich you were actually the one that got me into it like I was like, just, I was like girl just get on TikTok I was like it it's it's kind of like blowing up a little bit you know and and then you're like okay and then you posted some videos of you walking and it they got views yeah, do you remember I that i was so surprised i was like i think that was like my first video like on here that like hit like a million pretty fast and i was like mm -hmm. wow rich knows what he's talking about <laughs> like I mean, when, when, when you've been online long enough you kind of know how to navigate the waters a little bit I'm not gonna say I know everything, but I, I know a little bit how to navigate waters. I um, you really do. Like you, you have like some of the best ideas. Like even my Selena video, like I remember you told me to like buy that cost. Cause I, cause I love Selena, Quintania and, and, and yeah. the other family. And I was like, and I love that whole dynamic with like Yolanda, just being like, that's, listen, I don't hate anybody. The only person I hate in my life is Yolanda because she murdered Selena. That's the only person I hate. Okay, and I'm and that's me. That's just me. I'm allowed to have that opinion. I do not like I Yolanda. Can... I do not like Yolanda because she murdered Selena. I hate her so much. Oh my gosh, 
gosh, Extina, you're amazing. Thank you for the fall candle, Extina. And honestly, Rich, I agree. You know, Selena, she'll forever be a legend. So it's like, I don't ever try to hate people either. But it is kind of like, you know, Yolanda, where she literally like murdered her. It's like, that's the exception. Yeah, like I love Selena. I love all her music. I, and but you know it was a it was a sad story when that stalker whatever lady Yolanda murdered her so I was just like sad about it so that's the only person I don't like. Yeah, no. I'm but afraid. okay, um, I do I do want to say is that you have a lot of people who watch you. You have a lot of people who a lot of big creators that you talk to and you can reach out to and stuff like that. I always feel like when it comes to when it comes to you, and I I told this to my friend the other day. I was like Eugenia Cooney is a person. She, she's she's her own person like like no one controls her she's her own entity right right so if you, if there is something because there's a lot of people who show concern online for you but i'm just like if eugenia cooney wants help or anything like that she can find it herself like she can do anything that she wants herself like does that make sense like you're your own person you're your own woman you do what you want when you want to do it how you want to do it and so there have been several creators reach out to you that you have real conversations with and they're like everything is fine and we asked you some questions on here and you were like yeah i'm fine um you you've gone through situations where you're 5150 you've had crisis mobile teams come over to your house and so you have all these people who've come to you and yet you're still here on TikTok doing your thing so I just always felt like if there was something truly wrong with Eugenia Cooney, then it would already it would have already been exposed and been taken care of because you're talking about police who have been involved, you know? Exactly. You know, I think like I know like some people and it's really weird. Like even after this situation, like I'll I'll see some comments are like they're mad. They're so mad something didn't happen. So they're like, this was the final straw with her. She's an evil person. I'm like, but no, you do. You guys like the police came over. They saw everything was fine. It's like, there's not like really, I think, like, I think some people <laughs> kind of just like, you know, freak out a little bit more than like they need to. And it's like you said that, you know, I feel like, you know, if I had to like do something, then I can just kind of do that without people trying to make like all these like crazy crazy phone calls and <laughs> trying to contact like police and crisis teams and you know put me in weird there's gonna be a lot of people are gonna be a lot of people i see in the comments they like the interview how it's going there's some people who do not like how it's going at all they're like you're not answering the questions we want to answer yeah again guys i'm just being 100 respectful eugenia yeah. Cooney is her own person she can do what she wants and i think that she knows she knows herself more than anyone else i you know it's like you know your you know yourself more than anyone else because you live in this so just know that paul down so many other creators like shane dawson we're always here to help you and support you and uplift you in a positive way and it, it all to me you know like having like good friends like you guys like it really really does make me feel like so much better like i feel like kind of when you're just kind of like on your own which even like, you know, before I came here and kind of started talking to like a lot of you guys more like on Twitch, I feel like you're very much just kind of more in it by yourself. And I feel like even that, like mentally, it's like a lot harder. So, you know, like I'm, I'm seriously like so appreciative, like to you guys that are such good friends to me. Like it really, really means a yeah. lot. And I was, I was talking to the creator on here named Van Luke and she had made a statement to me just a couple months ago. She was like, you know, leaving negative comments to Eugenia Cooney is not helping anything at all. And it, it's like, it's it really not, you know, like, let's just say there is something wrong. Okay? okay, let's just say that. Leaving negative comments on your chat, on this chat is not helping anything at all. You know, all you can do is just pray for someone, wish them the best, wish them much success, and it'll, it'll work itself out. But I just don't agree with the level of toxicity that you get because you're a genuinely nice person. So that's why I always say, like, leave Eugenia alone. If you guys don't like her, leave the comments over here because she didn't deserve it because she's been nothing but nice. Rich, and honestly, like, you're such a nice person. So I ne never want people to, like, I like I, I, I feel bad you saying that because I'm like, oh, no, I only want people to show you love because, like, that's what you deserve. But um, seriously, thank you because, like, it's 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 crazy to me because like i i really i just try to be a good person i try to be the best person i can be every day 
And it's it's crazy because like some people they literally just act like I'm I'm purposely trying to do all these horrible things and I I'm just like the devil, like I'm the yeah. worst. And I get, again, I get Eugenia yeah. Cooney's her own person. And like for the someone in the comments said like I'm reading a script, like girl, I'm just speaking from the heart. There's no script right here. It's just it's just a, a can and a and a box and a ring light. All I need is a mic and a light. You know, I don't have no script. Really look, different. look, there's no there's no people right there holding a light to Eugenia Cooney, uh, telling her, showing her her script, what to say. We're just having a casual conversation. It is what it is. That happening, guys. Like there's there's no scripts. <laughs> like the thing is, like how many times do you think? Just off the top of your head, how many times do you think that uh, whether it be police, commissioners, crisis teams, people who are worried have physically reached out to you in your mind? If you just throw a number out there, no, definitely like kind of. Oh my gosh, like wow, it's it it's a lot. Because the police, like at this point, like they, they kind of know us. Um, so even they're just kind of like, oh, thank you, Steph. Even the police is kind of like, oh, you know, like they won't always call me at this this point okay. unless there's like a lot coming in. Yeah. Or sometimes like they'll just kind of call and be like, hey, Eugenie, it's just that time where we're just like, you know, checking because we're always getting these crazy calls. And I kind of just feel like it's like an ongoing thing of it's kind of like always happening or if it's not so like you would say like multiple times and it's happened yeah or if it's not that like the other day too like I, i'm just getting like random phone calls and i don't even know how these people get my number yeah, yeah. and they, um be a part of my life and like and you know if she means well like that's nice and everything but I guess at the same time, like when people actually like somehow like track down like my number and start calling me and like, you know, like trying to FaceTime and I don't yeah. really know who they oh, are. I hate, yeah, I hate that. I try to do that. Yeah, uh -huh. It's a little bit like, I don't know. I would never want to like be mean or anything like that, but. And so it just, but some, somebody was like, oh, they're not doing their jobs. And I'm like, well, you have. To, from just off, just looking into your background on social media and the times that you've had uh, been swatted or and all that bad stuff that happened to you, 5150, everything. It's like, so all those people weren't doing their job? All, like, this is multiple people, not just one or two guys. So we've had kind of a lot of people. Like, we've had like multiple. You've had a lot of people. Yeah, we've had a ton of different police officers. Like, literally, like, one time they had to have me like come into the police station and I kind of had had to meet with like everyone there and just be like, hey, you know, introduce myself. Like, mm -hmm. I'm the girl you keep being called about, guys. Um, and oh, then, you know, we've had the the recently the crisis team. Um, we had the animal people, which it's like, why? Why is that even happening? <laughs> um, <laughs> no. Like, oh, it's, the, it's the, I, I also feel like no matter what you do, Eugenia, you'll never please the masses. You know, like, you know how you, those negative, those negative Nancy's in the comments, like no matter what you do is never going to be enough. You know, I remember when I first got on YouTube, if you look back, I had like horrible messed up crooked teeth, like really bad, like throwing up gang signs. They're like really bad teeth. Right. And then when I, when I got my teeth fixed because of the negative comments were so bad, I, I was like, I felt bad. Like I would cry and I felt bad about it. So when I got my teeth fixed or with veneers, now the comments are like, oh, they look so fake. Oh, they're too big for your mouth. And I'm like, you know what? With stuff. Like, Never gonna win. It's it. <laughs> no matter what you say or do, it just kind of seems like it's like always no. wrong to somebody. So I feel like I feel like if you when you get comments and they're like, oh, Eugenia, you look this way. I feel like if you were to do the exact opposite, you'd be like, oh, you're you're too this, you're too that. Like people will never be happy. Do you come in and like say that? Like there's some people that will say like, oh, Eugenia, you know, you like, you know, I guess like the ones that like, you know, we'll kind of like normally see. Um, and then like, there's also ones that will come in and be like, ah, Eugenia, wow, like you're looking like really like 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 um how do I say it? Like, like, would it be like, I think it's okay to say whatever they say, right? 
Yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, Eugenia, wow, we can tell, like, you're getting so fat today. We can see how pregnant you're looking, like, wow. No, that they tell you that? They tell they tell you that, that you look fat today. Like, couple come in. I think I saw an account earlier, they were like, fatty Eugenia or something. You, it's like, comments oh, like that. It's like, you're never gonna, you're, yeah. Like, it's you never gonna, you it's, one yeah. Thing, then you tell me the opposite thing. I'm like, I don't even know what to think with you guys. It's who, like. Who, who said that? Who said that? So I can go, I'll go have a talk to them. You know, the only, the only <laughs> different ones that will do it, like some of them, like sometimes like, like when, especially if chat's moving faster, I won't even be sure, like you said it, but there'll be people that will like come in and say that too. So sometimes I'm like, I don't even know what people think. They tell me like everything. How, how do you, Eugenia, seriously, like, how do you deal with so much online criticism? You know, I guess at this point, I'm just kind of, I guess I'm so like used to it. And I just kind of feel like it's like, you know, it's like, sometimes it's like, I'm, I'm sorry, I make people like so mad and I guess kind of spark like such a big reaction out of some people. But I guess I just kind of try to keep going. I guess I figure, you know, you can't just like stop what you're doing over, um, like, you know, some people just really trying to like always like break me down or um you know like and it's like it wouldn't be worth like leaving over like you know like there's good people out there too so i guess i just really try to like not pay too much attention to the negative people and just kind of try to you know not take it too seriously and like what the negative people say and just kind of keep going and i, I could just from the, from the outside looking in it's like damn girl like they really just they really just go in. It's almost like, Aww. it's almost like they just like this. It's so sad to see some of the comments I see. Like just even when you're just live hanging out, and I see, or even when you're on Twitch or other platforms like you now, I'm just like, damn. Like, is it really that serious? Like y'all are leaving so many negative comments. It's not changing anything. You like, oh, why don't you leave positive comments? May like encourage change and growth in a positive way. I just don't. I just don't see that. Like saying negative things is gonna change anything. I think because I just don't really know like what some of these people and I'll see some of them will just spam things like gaslighter, liar, this, that. It's like I don't really see how that's gonna like help anybody or you know make like any kind of positive change for anything. So and then it's like those same people that are like you're mocking haters. It's like or sorry, you're mocking like concerned people. It's like I'm really not trying to. It's just do, some of the people. Have, that, um, I don't mean to cut you off, but do you have moderators here on TikTok or no? So you know, I try to be like careful with it now, like. Oh, uh, because you, they turned on you, yeah. girl. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that like some of them like literally like so many of them like people and it, it it's like no hate to them, you know. I'm so sorry to like ex ones that got the wrong idea but i'm just like oh like it's too bad that sometimes like you know someone like it seems like nothing bad's gonna happen and then next thing you know they're like on reddit doing like amas and i'm like what is there even an ama to do about guys like i haven't even talked to these people much like yeah. it's like it's it's just so weird to to see that so you know, I guess I just kind of try to like not pay too much attention and just like try to stay positive. Mm -hmm. and, and I'm just always really happy there's good people like you, Rich, and you know. Well, I, you know, I, I try because some of the negative comments get to me too, but not about you though, never about you. Don't worry about that. Okay. It's I just like so stuff, I'm just like, oh my God, I can't believe it. Like, you know, I always feel like if you're gonna judge me, judge me kindly. Like, I'm just, I'm just like anybody else on here. I'm just a guy who put on some triangles and turned on the camera. Like there's there's no magic trick or potion. He's just hard work and dedication and it works out. And like, again, I spoke to a, a friend of mine named Van Luke and she was just like, Rich, like Eugenia Cooney is her own person. She is her own person. And with that being said, like if Eugenia Cooney wants to do anything, she can do it herself. Like she isn't, you know what I'm saying? Like you're your own person, you, like you do that. And so like, I feel like fault should not fall on anyone because it's you, you're your own person, you know, and I don't, and this is like a horrible example, but I just, I just kind of feel like if Eugenia Cooney wants to do anything with her life, you, you're, it's up to you to do it. Nobody else. 
No, exactly. And that's another reason I always will feel so bad because like I'll see people kind of like going to people like you, Rich, and you know. Oh, yeah. Um, but you know what though? It really takes, it really takes a strong friend to be your friend because then, because the, the, some people will be like, Sorry. some people will be like, well, why does she get all the attention? Why does she get all the fame or whatever? Oh. Why does she get this? And they get jealous and it like, they, it let, they let it muster up and then they want to like turn against you. Right. And so it really is hard to be your friend if that person is not strong enough for it. If they're a weak person. But if you have friends who have their own thing going on, their own following, they have like their own business and stuff like that. It's like they're not worried about like thinking you as competition or anything like that. Exactly. And then I also know that kind of, I guess, like, you know, when people are friends with me, like, it's like, I'm sure it's hard because you have to deal with like all this hate and people mm -hmm. kind of you know, like attacking you for like being my friend. So it's like, you know, it so really I was like, don't, don't say Eugenia Cooney hate. Look, I stand up for Eugenia Cooney. I believe in her. I think that she's funny AF. I think that she's real. And like, I, I've seen like when it, you, the thing is, you can't tell me anything about Eugenia Cooney because I know, I know the good, the bad and the bottom line. And the bottom line is she's a good person, right? There's no denying that. If you look at her online presence, and you speak to people behind the scenes, she's a generally good person, right? She's not perfect, neither am I, but she's a good person. And I, it just kills me to see you get so many negative comments. Thank you, Rich. And it, and it same always goes for you. And honestly, like, I'm so like grateful to have you as a friend and, you know, like that you like don't turn against me over this stuff. <laughs> Cause it's like- not, No, no, because then to me that, that shows character and it shows like, wow, if you do it to her, you'll do it to the next person person and then no one will trust you, you kind of burn yourself with, you, know, you, you can't be trusted and that makes sense so you, yeah. you know and it's so fragile because people's opinions are very fickle and they change like that like right now people love you next day they hate you then they love you again and so that's why you really just got to like do it for yourself and not worry about comments or just do things how you want to do it. And listen, I know that this may not have been like the best interview in the world, but I can tell you it was from the heart. And it's just like, it's just real. Cause I'm just talking to the camera, no script or anything. And like, honestly, like I've had such a good time, like, like talking to you and everything. I'm this sorry if I didn't how we talk. Like, this is usually how we talk anyway, when we battle. Exactly. This That's is how I feel. I feel like it's like talking to a friend, which makes it like so much like easier and, you know, like it, well, and, and guys, like, please don't hate on Rich for like anything. He's been so respectful, so kind. And it's like, you know, I honestly appreciate him being, being like that. You know, a lot of people won't be that way. So it's so like, I, I want to, I just, I just want to wrap up this interview because yeah. people are going to be so mad in the comments, so mad about it. I just want to say is that I love you, Eugenia. I'm always here for you. If you ever need anything, you can reach out. And there are a lot of other people out there who love you as well and are always here for you too. And tell your mom I said hi and all your, your loved ones out there. I just want to send you blessings upon blessings and positive vibes. Oh my gosh, Rich, thank you. Seriously, that means so much to me. And same always goes... <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Testicle difficulties. <laughs> I think it went out. So... There you go. No, it's off. I can't hear her. That happened. There you go. Are you back? Hi. Rich, speaking of, 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 of random phone calls, I just caught one, another one. Oh, wow. No, I can already see them. Oh, no. They're controlling Eugenia's audio. They won't let her speak. Yes. This one's a Texas one. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow well it's not me oh my gosh oh don't worry rich i didn't think so i'm just like i hope they don't do it to you too so, but same always goes for you like seriously like thank you for always being such a good friend like i can't ever thank you enough for that and like just tell you how much i appreciate you and i hope you know too rich that you know i'm so sorry for people that give you hate over me people that give you hate in general and um you never deserve it you deserve so much love always and i'm always here for you too anytime you ever like need anyone or need someone to talk to or anything i always got your back rich um so i want to i want to wrap this up with just one last question for you of course. 
because yeah. this is this is being recorded. It's gonna go on YouTube on my YouTube channel. It's over like two hours long. We've been sitting here talking. And I I just want to say to you, is there anything that you wanna say to the masses? Like anything at all? To your following, to the people in the chat, whatever. Like just like this is the last question. Is there any any last words you wanna say? Okay, so you know, I guess like really I wanna say like thank you to everyone that's listening to this and everyone that's just kinda you know, here in this interview, listening to like what I have to say and what Rich has to say. And I agree that Rich is a good journalist. I agree. I think he's amazing at this. Oh and, um, you know, really like the people that are kind and do support me, I really appreciate you guys so much. Like I can never say thank you enough to you guys. And also always guys like, um, be kind to Rich and be kind to like, you know, people I'm friends with because like, I'm so grateful for them. Rich is an amazing person. I'm so happy we could like do this interview today. And I just really appreciate him. Like he's an amazing person. He's an amazing friend. So um, yeah, you know, give lots of love to Rich. Like he Thank deserves so it. Drop, drop hearts in the chat for Eugenia on both sides. Drop hearts in the chat, in whatever the chat. color you want. Hearts in the chat. So thank you, thank you for your time. Again, I just want to wrap up. So thank you for being here and giving me the time to talk to you. I hope I did okay. I hope I didn't offend you with some of the questions. Not at all. Like seriously, okay. you're always so sweet and respectful. And I really appreciate that because it's kind of like we were saying, like how you never know with some interviews. And, yeah. you know, seriously, you're amazing. I had such a good time, like talking to you today and everything. Yeah. I, I just want you to know that it was it was difficult for me to talk to you in this because like to me, I, I did not want to disrespect you. I did not want to overstep my boundaries or say anything that was out of bounds to make you upset. And so I did really didn't want to do any of that. So, you know, I understand that not everyone's going to like the, our, our two hour conversation, but hopefully you gained some knowledge out of it and you walked away knowing something, but it was, it was kind of tough because, you know, I consider you a friend. I would never want to uh, upset you. Oh, and I so appreciate that Rich, like, honestly, like, You've been so sweet and respectful. And I think like, I agree with the person that said you'd be a great journalist because I thought it was a really great interview. And I'm sorry, people, if you guys didn't like my answers, don't blame that on him. That's on me. Cause sometimes things can be a little bit hard to talk about, you know? Yeah. But which I think made talking about things like as easy as it as it can be, like you really. Know, and he's I, amazing. I, so. I do want to say this, Eugenia, before I leave, you know what I think you really should do is sit down one day and just write a like a tell all book. That would be crazy. I don't know if anyone would read it, but <laughs> <laughs> I think a lot of people will be interested in, in reading the tell all book because there's a lot that people don't know about you that they find so fascinating about you as well. Because the fact that you have so many people in your live stream in this live stream, just listening to us talk, there's a lot of general interest in you and people care. And so think about it, because I know I would buy it. I would love to read it. Oh, thank you so much, Rich. And if, if you ever had a book too, I'm <laughs> the first person to buy. It's called Clowning Around, right? An auto an autobiography I Rich Love. I like that. Yeah. But, but anyway. I feel really rich. Like, you know, I've like seen a lot of videos where you were you've talked about like I won't get into that because you know I don't wanna like Yeah, yeah, it's fine, it's fine. But I'll just say, like, you know, seriously, you're an amazing person. So I think like if you wrote something too, it would definitely be a really great book. And like, I would definitely read it. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you for your time, Eugenia. I love you. I hope I did a good job. I'm going to end it here. Um, it, it was long. It was a long, <laughs> it did not expect it to be this long. <laughs> um, and so I hope your lawyer doesn't get mad at me or anything. I hope we're okay. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Rich, I would never like, okay, no, I'll be, okay, okay, I'll be okay, okay, <laughs> okay, all right, and um, just thank you again. I'm gonna I'm go ahead and log off, you guys. This is Eugenia Cooney. If you don't know who she is, definitely check her out. Which, why wouldn't you know who she is? Duh, and, and, and you know, Rich, like, guys, everybody, like, I'm sure most of you guys do, but if you don't like follow him, he's amazing, yeah, all right, thank you, Eugenia. I'll see you later, okay.